Gone. Let's go. Home run. Two-run two run home run. Shot. And this game is tied. It's 2-2. Two -two. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. That. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Wow, that was really good. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice Ooh. launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Wow. And here is number 27. Now batting. Number 27. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground to the left. Dunn handles the chance. Zips it to first, and that is that. On to inning number four. We two two. So digging in, Kyron Paris. The batter number four, second baseman. The two one. Paris. Out to short. Done. Handles. Gets it to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Let's go. Now batting left field. And welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Elliot Dunn. Ball seam slider curve, ball circle change. Dunn. First sliders. And here it comes. Still the same picture. Oh. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. That's way and low. Downstairs. Side. And another ball. Away. Lifted mm. in the air, right center. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. A nice no right way. Back. Dang it. And there's one down. Now battle. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Errol Vera. Now battle. That's shortstop. A roll. Vera. Ideally, we need to get over to the second. For this. Two, two, roll to short. Possible two ball. Over to Bruhan. That's one. Relay to first. Double play. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop. Elliot now Dunn. Back. Good power. Elliot. Not great. In the OBP department. That mm. one's in there, 0 and 1. I thought it was going to be just outside, but not to be. That's outside. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Strike two. Yeah, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. Okay. Looking One and rock two. solid so far. Four seems split a side of circle change. That's low. Next offering is downstairs. Get down. Lovely. That's going to be a bit yeah, round it, round it. Find the ball. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Over to first, and he saved. Dunn leads off first with two down to the inning. Another throw over. Hey. And he's back in that time as well. What sort of uh, grip is that uh, guy on our teammate of ours, Curtis, using? And now the lefty run around the goal. On the ground to third. Whips it to first in time. That's out number three. And now Elliot Dunn. He's already homered here in this one. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high Make leverage contact situation. With every swing and driving yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Change up slider curveball. Top of the ten. 
Two on, one out. The pitch. That's just that. missed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And a 1 0. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And he really yeah. sells the changeup with that arm action. Ground no, ball could be two. Be Steps oh. on the bag for one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One Dang batter, it. two out. Inning over. Now it's going to be Ibondel Isabel. Right. If we get one of these guys out, we've got it. Isabel. On the ground, out to short. And that'll do it. Let's go. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. All right. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got Father's Day Baseball. It's the Montgomery really? Biscuits and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. First pitch coming your way next. So up next, Elliot Gunn. Two hits in the game First last time. First in DSS All-Star, but let's go. Forcing oh. curve, change up in a two scene. Uh, one on one. Brady back to work. That one ripped. Ooh, straight at him. Rips the squeeze on it, and there's two away. Man, that's Went one of those attacks where you Yikes. have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. Man at first with one gone, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Andrew Velasquez. Had the day off yesterday. On the ground, two ball, and that one handled. There's one. Over to first, safe. Now bat. Base is empty with two away. And the batter will be the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. The shortstop. Forcing curve, change in a two seam. Top of the fourth, coming on two out. Looks like he favors the two seams. Now so. the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Oh, this one no, popped no. up. Foul ground, first base side. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. On bottom of the fourth, welcome back. And now the DH, number 27. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Up the middle, done. Over to pick it up. The throw to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The batter, the right fielder, Garrett. So digging in, Elliot Dunn. Laid off man is on. You got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring position. Right. Top, top of the seven. One on, no one out. Wilson Kev changed. And the pitch. Going to one. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. That's low. Next offering misses. And the count is one and one. Mm. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. The pitch. That's low. And now it's even up. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Hmm. Righty delivers. Got oh. him swinging. So he's gotten deep into this game. And yeah, the batter now, Elliot Dunn. Right. Need to risk a bunt here. Quijada back to work. Strike one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth okay. of the three run lead, Wilson it should be a to W. Slider. Two on, two out. Need something big here. That's not. The next offering misses, and it's one and one. Need you right now. Make something happen for us. Hey, keep it going right here. Keep it going. Two on, two outs. 
late with the swing Ooh. there. They can live mm -hmm. up in the zone all really? game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down zone in the zone. 95 mile an hour that was. That's low. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside nah, plate coverage. That's late. And that one is lifted in the air, squeezes it, and that is that. Man at first, number 21 will hit next. Now batting, number 21. A one down. On the ground, left side, six, four, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. And your final Dang four it. two for Chris Singleton. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you're not sharp, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget the because you're about to see more videos. I'll see the next one. Until then, peace out. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. Oh. No complaints. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. Confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. It's my job to help you get what you want. Tell me anything that isn't ideal anytime we can look at the family my approach and it going forward. Okay, but from but now on. The I'm measure good. of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. I'll be checking in periodically to make sure you stay happy. You've got a great future ahead, Elliot. Let's make it happen. Right, what I'm thinking upon doing is no, not that. Uh, play view calendar. Right, so how many months of competition have I got left? So I've got till September, come in June. Um, got the Mississippi Braves. What is this? Pensacola. Right. Let's just sim through that to that date. Uh, we're gonna do. All... So that's going to knock us up by, how many can you see that? That's up by one, that's up by two, that's up by three. I think a button drill, I reckon. For so many players from... A coach hopes to help his player get more out of his plate appearances. Check on how many wins lost we had. Okay. I say we did fairly well there to us. We're live from Bayfront Park. Opening day baseball. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Lorenzo Quintana now at the plate. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings. In. Now this one gets through. Runner around third. Safe. And they take the lead. Well done. Oh, Drives damn. in the run. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Around third. He's in there. How do you throw it? That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Pretty tough. One out, runner at second. And now the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. The shortstop. Okay. Top of the second. One on, one out. Scores tied. Forcing change, slurp, and a two. The pitch. Swing and a pop, pop up. Brigman has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he did. Now here is Griffin Conant. Now batting. Right fielder. 
And he deals. Swing and a slow roller. Done. Picks it up. On to first. And that will end the inning. We play. So I'm getting more past me, buddy. Boston changed 11 2 team, stand pitcher. One on first, one on third. No. That misses, and, one and it's one to no. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That's right. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. 2 0. No. 2 0. And he flips a mm. breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next oh, one is off the right. play. Ball three. Cameron Meisner is up next. Okay. Kicks and deals. And now it's filled up. Well, in this situation with a run on one first, that. less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball, double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Foul ball. Number 14, the runner at third. Number 21, over at first with one away. Rolled to short, could be two. The throw to second, on to first, double play. And that's the Dang end. Dang it. Ow. Back here at the ballpark, and now Lorenzo Quintana. Leading up for the Blue Wahoos, the designated hitter. Lorenzo. And the righty deals. On the ground to short, done. Collects. In plenty of time to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. So digging in, Elliott Dunn. Now batting. Elliott Dunn. Well, seems down on a Tuesday. The right hater back to work. In the air, center field. Uh. Mesa under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Elliot Dunn digs in now. Top of the ninth. Four to the score. No one on two out. Well, seems to change Tuesday. The line and the pitch. Late on that mm. fastball. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Close guy on the mound understands that this batter is trying to take him deep. I think the key here is change speeds. Keep him off balance. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that'll do it. This was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4 2. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Two outs, nobody on. Elliott Dunn getting ready to hit. Okay, top of the second. No one on two out. Forcing set a curve, sinker, and a circle change. The wind of the pitch. That's nope. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Second inning here, no score. Go, uh, Next nope. one misses, two Ooh. and oh. Low and outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. Next offering is foul back. 2-1 the count. Fouls one off. 2-2. Two two. Hey, see you trying to right back with the pitcher, huh, now? Kicks and fires. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. Oh. And that's that. Why did I react to, to that? Oh my God. Number two, Elliot Dunn, the next to hit. Now batting. Ball some static curveball, sinker, and a circle change. Garrett, Still one on one. Trying to bunt his way on. 
they get one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And now the center fielder, Nick Schnell. Garrett checks on first. Done. Dives back in safely. Back over to first, and this time he gets him, and that'll do it for the inning. Dang it. Now the number two hitter, Bryson Brigman. Now batting, not shortstop, Bryson Brigman. Line drive to short and caught. The right fielder, Lovely. number 18, Griffin. One out, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. Now batting the shortstop, Elliot hmm. Dunn. Got a hit while even though I had an account. Hey, nice and patient. Get the wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and that is strike one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. And now here is Lorenzo Quintana. Now back, the designated hitter, Lorenzo Quintana. Slowly on the ground to short. Dunn collects it. Throw pulls him off no. the bag, and he's safe. That's a play you expect your shortstop. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Mm. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. My okay, all set to go. Leading off, Elliot Dunn. Leading off for Montgomery. Four seam curve, change two seam. Top of the first, leading out. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. That's way outside. That's, pitch misses that. there, and a count two and one. Hey, your pitch, get some wood on it. That one the other way. Should be a base. Oh no, it's not. Over to first. One up, one down. Conai off of first with two away. The first baseman, number five. Hard ground ball, base knock. Three, three, three. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now. Here's the shortstop at the play. Elliot Dunn. The shortstop. Elliot. And here it comes. That's the third. It's in and out oh, of his fumbled glove. it. He's safe. Safe, just. Well, with two outs, I'm thinking he had his mind on getting in the dugout so they could get to hit, and all it takes is just a little lapse in concentration. So now let's see if his pitcher will pick him up. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. Base hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's 1-1. First and second. Two outs. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. Makes the play, and it's out number three. And welcome back. And now it's going to be Elliot Dunn. On, Montgomery. Leading off, full seam curve, change two seam. Top of the fifth, 3 1 score. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. Strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two 
swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now one away. Ching. And now oh, Riley May. He's all for one. One on first. One out. So I didn't even need a double play here. Tied at four. Hit on the ground might be two. Bruhan. They get one. And it's a double play to end the inning. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, Elliot Dunn. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play Elliot. here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double team. play. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. That's, That's down and in. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Here comes a pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped up. Foul territory Dang behind it. the plate. Makes the grab. That's out number two. Now batting. The first base. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. And stepping in is the speedy Victor Victor Mesa. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dunn handles the chance on the run, sends it over to first. Barely got it for the out close play. Elliot Dunn will hit next. Wilson Slyer changed to scene for the 10th. No one on the pitch. One out. Out towards right center down, field. Down, 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 down. Racing to his left. Hauls it in, and there's two away. I'm just gonna lost. Hmm. One of the phrases that you hear around the game is try. A player is called to question by his manager on his recent base running performance. The player's been caught stealing an inordinate amount of times recently. Essentially, a red light is being issued here. Hmm. Clutch hitting has not been a strength for this team, and their manager lets Well, he them. has struggled a bit at the plate. Okay, you've been chosen to represent the double A South South in the 2022 A South All Star game. You're not going to, to make any of this game. Okay. Okay. Saving question. Okay. 
We're in the eighth with one man out. John Chambi right. alongside Chris Singleton here in the booth. Your attention, man at second with one away. And the batter now, Elliot Dunn. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Elliot. Okay, one on, one out, top of the eight. Score five three is I think four us here? Yeah. Okay. Awesome side change. Into center. Oh no. Rasconi settles under it and makes Dang the it. catch. And there's two away. Now at the plate, Tyler Krieger. One on, one out. We go for a double play at least if we can. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little right. of everything, some timely hitting. Not really what we wanted there, but. I expected a bit more from that to be honest. But you know by the side. The player is addressed about a troubling trend in his plate performance of late. The coach advocates a more disciplined approach. Baseball players are notorious. A coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. We are a week away. Carlos, for so many pro With the season approaching its final stretch, the manager calls for heightened focus from his players. As competitive as professional. Coach approaches a player with a thought about his progress. A double A manager has called one of his young players in for a quick word. Right, every kid that gets drafted thinks he's on his way to the big leagues. As you may have been to notice, this just that is just not the case. I know it's going to take a lot of hard work to beat the, the odds. The word is good. They're about that son, but off to a heck of a start. The franchise has decided to promote you to our Triple A affiliate. Oh, for real? Within 48 hours, this player will be in a new city nice. and putting on a new uniform. Let's go. Go to Triple A. Exciting times as one of my diamond in the rough players gets the call up to Triple A. And of course, few things get fans as amped as players with limitless potential he is really starting to flash mental performance coach kellen lee joins me now kellen how do you help players deal with expectations that come with promotions well first of all this is a really exciting time for him getting that call up uh but the the most important thing for these players to understand when they do get that promotion is to stick to the processes that they know work for them they've been successful and they've earned that promotion for a reason and they need to understand that baseball is still baseball. The game hasn't changed. So stick to their processes and continue on the path because they're on the right track nice. uh, to, to reach the goals that they're shooting for. And of course, there is a distinction between expectations and goals. Expectations can come from external sources, but goals are the marks that you set for yourself that you're shooting for. Yeah, and that, that's another reminder and conversation I have with players is that sometimes the expectations that other people put on them or even they put on themselves can ultimately just be distractions from their from their performance. So I just remind them, set those goals because goals keep us motivated. They keep us on path. They keep us on a certain direction, moving towards what we want to accomplish versus an expectation is simply result-based. And sometimes we just need to leave the expectations to the media, leave the expectations to the fans. Because as a player, we just need to make sure that we're only thinking about what's helpful for us and our performance on the field. Did nice. I hear this right? Triple A? One step from the big leagues? Really? Because he had a nice month in the double A level? Oh my goodness. Now it gets to his head. And if he has a bad day, he's going to think he's back in double A. And if he has a good day, he's going to wait for the manager to call him into his office to say he's been promoted to the show. 
Oh, my goodness, that's a little quick, will you please? Let it be seasoned a little more in double A before you do this. I hate this move. When players start producing, especially early in their career, fans can't help but compare them to MLB stars of the past and present, trying to get a comp. Ken Griffey Jr., the Hall of Famer, joins me. Ken, how hard is it to compare and predict who these players could become? Well, it's still hard to compare uh, people. Um, compare, you know, eras, decades, uh, uh, even your con contemporaries. You still can't compare. Um, growing up, I wanted to be like my dad. You know, at age 12, 13, he sat me down. He said, you're going to be bigger, stronger than me. You're going to hit more home runs. And mm. at that time, I didn't believe him. <laughs> uh, I still went out there and, and played my game, you know, patterned my game after his. And all of a sudden, you know, I get 23, 24, and I start hitting the ball out the ballpark at a, a, a more frequent rate. And uh, he just looked at me and started laughing. So it's hard to compare uh, or predict what these kids are going to be. Uh, but you try to give an idea of somewhere of what they can be, but it's still tar It's still hard to do. Okay. Hitting the ball to the opposite field is something that coaches will stress at every level of the game, from T-ball on up. Joe Maurer, in his big league career, hit better than 400 going the opposite way. Part of the reason he had three American League batting titles. Joe, what goes into a successful opposite field approach for a hitter? Well, I think, number one, to, to hit the ball to the opposite field um, with any authority, you have to let the ball get deep. Mm -hmm. um, you want to catch the ball um, a little deeper in your stance and to be able to put, uh, to put a charge in it. But um, to be able to spray the field and hit the ball to all fields uh, makes it a lot more difficult on the opposing team and, and pitcher in, in trying to attack you as a hitter. So um, being able to have that ability to do that is definitely a good thing. And certainly you had power at the plate, so pitchers were a little less likely to throw pitches on the inner half to you. You knew that, and that could help you hit the ball the other way because they were trying to pitch away from you a little bit. Well, I think ultimately pitchers, um, pitchers are trying to get ahead in the counts, and they usually try to do that um, down and away. So um, I tried to turn that into one of my strengths as a hitter, and I felt a lot more comfortable with the ball out over the plate and, and driving it to the other, uh, other opposite field. Hey. Was there a time in your career where you were going through a... Late in the season and holding a comfortable division lead, a young team is cautioned not to let up. Sometimes the closer you get to the major league level, the harder it is. Okay. Okay guys, so we've just been promoted and we're going to be checking on our next match with the triple a's we welcome you inside oak street park triple a action coming at you on the show it's the durham bulls taking on the gwinnett stripers and we'll be back for the first almost ready to get underway and our pitcher tonight emerson hancock but chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound well, I'll say this, every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, Leading in out. front of their fans, no one on, no one in front of the city, and you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here, so, you know, you look at the numbers. They... He can't get there, it's a base hit. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, going for three. The throw to third, and ah. he's now trying for three. Really nice job of hitting. Dang it. So up next, Cal Conley. Batting second, not shortstop, number 13. The pitch. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Not in time, he's safe. And the batter will be the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. Now batter, the shortstop. The wide to kick the pitch. 
And that's a strike. All ones the count. 2022 SS All Star. And he grounds one to the right side. Waddell picks it up, whips it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Luke now Waddell. Number 28. One and two now. Ground ball left side into the outfield base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two. So two away with nobody on. Now here now is Drew Lugbauer. Drew. Out to short. Done. Fix it up. Fires over to first. Play made. That ends the inning. So digging in, Elliot Dunn. Ball seems to start out. Circle change and a curve. The pitch. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Righty delivers. Comes up empty. That's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And it's second. Got him. One away. Oh, far too early. Dang it. So up next, Elliot Dunn. One for three. Now batter. The right hander back to work. Yeah. And he takes a strike. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Out to short. Tosses the first, two away. Welcome back, top of the night. And now the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. The pitch. They say it went. New pitcher, slider force and change. And fouled mm. on. Okay. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So the batting order turns over. Luke now Waddell batting. now at the plate. Barefoot. Okay. The runner at first with one gone in the inning. This is not easy, if I'm honest with you guys. Grounder might be two. Over to Bruhan. That's one. The double play ends it right here. 8 2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. First for the victorious Baron. Two runs on eight. All right, ready to go here. And today's starting pitcher, Ryan Cusick. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. Ooh. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Elliot Dunn takes a ball here as he stands in now. Four seam curve, slider change two seam. The next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Slapped foul. Swing and a miss, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And down on strikes. One away. Bottom of the first at the play. Luke Waddell. Leading off for the Stripers. The second baseman. Number 28. Come back to the mound. Gathers and throws to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Good slider inside right. Number 15 digs in now. And he deals. Bounced up the middle. Done. Handles. Fires to first on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. So two down. 
Number eight, the next to hit. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe a ball. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. We play. Here's the shortstop at the play. Elliot Dunn. No one on two out. Wilson Kerr slider change to see. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. They say it went. Comes up empty Elliot. on the swing. Oh, oh, two oh, now. Cold night like that. tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one two. Runner at first with two away. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. He must have got four more as well. On the ground, I'm right side. Wuhan collects on to first. That's okay. the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. Now batting. Shortstop. Elliot. And a pitch. And he lays down a bunt. Feed to second. That's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Greg Jones. Now oh, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know what the big runner takes off out towards left center. Pearson coming on. He's got it. Two down. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Elliot Dunn will hit next for the fourth time tonight. Now batting. And the pitch. Elliot. Yeah. And a strike on the outside That's edge. A strike. He's been very consistent with his command right. out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Probably how that's not a check swing. Next one in the dirt. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two strike pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him a swing. out. And that's the third. I heard someone say swing. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the second baseman, now Luke that's... Waddell. Number 28. One, one, Bounced one. out to short. Done. Over to pick it up. Whips it across. And there's two down. Third baseman. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. It's actually easy to set them done, guys. It's a lot harder. All right, ready to get underway. And now, Sink Elliot Dunn. Crossing change to that. Elliot Dunn. Out towards mm. center. Dang it. Makes the grab, one down. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning, and now the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. The wind of the pitch. Elliot. All one there. Count one and oh. Let's go now. One time. So two balls and no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next one is off the plate. And now 3-1. and one. Fouls one away and now 3-2. and two. The wind of the pitch. And there's ball four. So digging in, number four. All right, one time, right here. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one gone.
Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Kicks and fires. First offering. Runner goes to second, and he's out. Right. Manager, who's my manager? I and welcome back. Want to Kevin know why Smith he said steal the base. Now. And now the 01. Out to short. Sends it across the first. One up, one down. Here's Taylor Trammell. I don't know why I'm two over here. Now. Yeah. Okay. And a rope into center field, base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been. I don't know why I was over there. And now the first baseman, Drew Luckbauer. Ground ball right side, could be two. Goes to second for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Welcome back, top six. Here's the shortstop at the play. Elliot Gunn. Right, back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Come on. Totally down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller. Pitch right, to pitch. Make swing? that guy on the mound oh, no, work to get you out. Swing. Bullpen activity starting up swing. now. Brooks Wilson preparing to come on if needed. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One down. And the batter will be the shortstop. Elliot Dunn. Hey, now batting. And the right hander back to work. And a bunt towards third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. That one fouled off. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. Smash to the left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Here's the center fielder, number four. Righty to the plate. Runner takes off on the ground, right side. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now batting. Man at second here with two away. Next to hit, number 23. And the righty deals. Slow roller to third. Gonzalez handles the chance. On the run, throw to first. That's the third out. This one sided at this. So one out, nobody on. Here's Taylor Trammell. And here it comes. Here's a tapper out in front of the plate. To first, now two away. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got 10 to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. So just about set now. Now it's the shortstop, Elliot Dunn. Full seam curve, slide a change. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And we're underway. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. The punch out there. And there's one away. So I'm up next, crumbling. Elliot Dunn. Now batting. The pitch. Elliot Dunn. Foul ball.
Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. One down, base is empty. They say it went. Puts the tag on him coming out of the box, and there's two away. Back here at the ballpark, and here is number 15. Leading off for the Stripers, the right fielder. Here's a tapper towards short. Gunn gloves it. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Here's Christian Pache. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. In there safely. That's three singles in a row. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. The other way, done. Fires across the diamond, and that's the inning. So two down now, and here is Elliot Dunn. And Boog, I say he's due. Vines back to work. Line, and that's a base hit. On, Here dig, comes the dig, runner. Dig. Go to dig. He will score, and it's a one-run game. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Man in scoring position with two away. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. He's 0 for 1. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level for him right now. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Elliot Dunn getting ready to hit one for three. Laid off man is on. You got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring okay, position. One on first. No one out. Two on the, the score against us. Check swing. Check swing. He went. That's strike one. Four seam slide, two seam. Hey, nice and patient. Now the old one. Nope. Now a one and a one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. <laughs> Try your best to get into scoring position. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Jack Swing went around, and that is strike two. No. Next pitch misses. It's two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. We'll count. At the belt and fires. Line drive. Get out. He dives. Yes. But can't make the catch. Okay. Ash appears to have injured himself on the previous space. Compared to the turn of pen in his shoulder region, he might be heading to the DL. Flash needs to be removed from this game. Taylor Trammell, and he'll be out there in center after the injury. Number 20, Taylor. First and second, no outs. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Tosses to first. Runners advance on a good sack bunt. Two on, one out. Now it's the right fielder, number 23. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. One out, collects it. Run scores, but a terrific play to get the out. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. Got him! Good job of damage control right there. A 3-2 final score. Okay. Okay, guys, that's me going into AAA. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Game play isn't being recorded. What reason?
asked for what reason. 